But at night, it lights up really nice. Jose Lugo says these tall metal towers quickly popped up after Brooklyn Battery Tunnel toll booths came down. We don't really know what's the, the purpose of this. It's a $100 million MTA project full of secrecy, with 18 of these for the tunnels and bridges. So what are they exactly? Are you saying you can't comment to me? You know That's the can't. MTA's man in charge of bridges and tunnels, Cedric Fulton, dodging our questions. Not even late, uh, later, can we talk to you about it? Or? Can I make a Some MTA board members, including New York City Transportation Commissioner Polly Trottenberg, say they know too little about the towers, even with about half the money spent and some of the towers up. A lot of the board members felt like they didn't have all the details they would have wanted, myself included. Residents who say they suspect there is much more going on with these towers than meets the eye wonder will they ever know what's going on inside them. I'm going to guess it's probably not just a decoration. It's a bit mind boggling that the MTA is approving $100 million for what appears to us to be uh, big decorative uh, pylons. John Caney is leader of the watchdog group Reinvent Albany. What we're asking for is transparency from the MTA. We demanded answers from uh, MTA uh, Chairman uh, Joe Loda. Some of your own board members say they don't know the specifics. The base of these new, um, uh, new pieces that are going up uh, include whatever uh, fiber optics are necessary for those homeland security items. In other words, anti-terror technology. Could it one day include facial recognition? We don't know. He won't say. I'm not at liberty to discuss that. So watch as more of these expensive towers rise with mystery tucked away inside them. In Lower Manhattan, Dave Carlin, CBS 2 News. Chairman Loda said all necessary homeland security technology remains in place at all crossings, even the ones that don't have the new towers just yet.